Well, I'll tell you that the last thing I expected to do tonight was deal with something really gross. So I didn't expect to be doing a video tonight. In fact, my day is pretty much over. I had pretty much wound down. I did a day of writing. I did some 3D printing to start testing out a new printer and the, the washing cure. And I thought I was pretty much done for the night. I finished a very cool little tiny print, which I'll show you when I do the review of the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro, uh, which is actually over here, the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. Um, and then I meant, went to put it on a shelf where I keep some of my other 3D prints, and I discovered something disgusting. So let's go take a look at that and clean it up, and then I'll tell you some of my thoughts about what it might be. All right, so I've got my goggles. Yeah, which go on really well. There we go. I've got my protective goggles, more of my lab coat, got my gloves. And like I said, I wasn't planning on doing any of this tonight, but hey, such is life. And I've got light and my iPhone up there to film because I don't want to touch any of this stuff while I'm dealing with it. Um, so here's Here's the base idea. So this is another Harbor Freight workbench, like the one in the other room. Uh, this area up here is some kind of painted particle board. And one of the things I tend to do is I like to put my finished prints up on here in the Fab Lab because I like to look at them. So that's what I did. And a couple weeks ago, I cleaned out a pile of the old ones, but these rooks have been here for a while. Now this rook back here is not as gross, but take a look at these two. Let me pull out, actually let me get some paper towel because I need to have a place to put this. I've got, I've got trash over here because this is a one-time thing and I'm not using a, um, a shirt mounted mic, I'm using one that's a directional mic, so if I turn you may not hear me but I don't want to get gunk on my shirt. I wear the lab coat for the same reason. I don't want the dog to get the resin on him when he climbs up on me and stuff like that. But here's the thing, look at this. What the hell is with all that gunk? Somehow, and you can kind of see it, let me hold it up like this. You can kind of see it here, it broke apart and it got all liquidified. And I think you can see it here too. You can see how it turned into this gushy liquid. Now this is a year old piece that I've had sitting there for a year. Let me wrap this in a piece of paper towel, get rid of it. I'm going to wrap the next one in a piece of paper towel. And there's another one. Also gross. And the others. I mean, you can actually see when I move up here, you can actually see it gushing. I don't know if you can really see that too easily. Let me try to move the light so you can really move the light without me touching it, but so that you can really see how that thing gushes in spot there. It's gross. Um, so, these resin prints, which have been a year old and have cured, they were carefully cured, they've been fine for a year, suddenly melted. And I'm not entirely sure what caused the meltdown, honestly. I really no strong idea. I'm going to take some IPA and see if I can clean up that area. Because um, there's no good reason for them to melt. I mean, yes, it's on top of a uh, bulb, on top of a lamp, but the lamp itself is over here, and these were over here. 
And there went some more of my prints down on the floor. Uh, another one down there. Look at this. This is melted IPA, year old, I'm sorry, melted um, resin from a year ago. That's year old melted resin. That's disgusting. And I'll be honest, I don't really have a good answer for why this thing decided to nuke the way it did. I mean, you can see that the filament prints had no problem, but the resin just dissolved, melted, decured, whatever it is. I guess there's three possibilities. One is that maybe I didn't cure it enough uh, a year ago, but they've been around for a year and they've looked fine for a year, so why the change? Maybe there's some kind of chemical reaction to the paint in um, on the top of the Harbor Freight workbench. That's a possibility. Maybe it's got some acetone in it or something that caused it to cure. I really doubt there's much heat coming out of this um, little tiny fluorescent thing because it's a little teeny weeny fluorescent thing. So I really doubt that much is coming out of there. So I don't know what caused it. Um, one of the reasons I'm making this video is if any of you have any idea what would take a year old cured resin print and make it dissolve, let me know. Um, anyway, there you go. Just uh, double check the curing of your prints. If you have resin prints on shelves, go check them out. Make sure that they're in something resembling decent condition. Let me see if get these gloves off and take off this silly face mask here. Um, I use these goggles, by the way, that have stuff on the side here to protect my face. Because when you take apart a resin piece, some things can fire, and I just don't want that stuff in my eyes. So let's see if I can get this off. And see if I can drop my glasses in the process. Okay. So, there you go. That was an unexpected video from me. For ZDNet's DIY IT, my name is David Gortz. Go out there and see if your resin prints have dissolved. I don't know. Anyhow, thanks for watching. And again, in the comments below, I would love feedback, constructive feedback, please, about what you think might have caused that. So the factors are, once again, a uh, relatively small room, but this room is generally 64, 65 degrees. This is winter. And they, there's nothing in here that's particularly hot. I've got uh, LED lights in the ceiling, um, but nothing spectacular. They're just inexpensive LED lights. There's the one little LED light under here. And there is whatever the paint is on the workbench. So those are the factors involved that could have caused it, not counting possibly the if, if I didn't cure it properly. But I put it in UV light and I ran it around a bunch of times in UV light um, and I made sure I cured the bottoms as well just for this reason. Um, so presumably they cured. So who knows? I'm not entirely sure what's up. I mean another possibility could be that the inside, I mean, this is not the roof, but let's just use this as an example. It could be the possibility that there was some um, resin inside the model that eventually broke through and cracked and then came out of the model, didn't drain properly when it, it was originally formed, made the model crack, the regular resin came out and then it affected the other prints. That's possible. So that's another factor. So just let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really love your feedback. And for that, my name is David Gewertz. Go out there and clean up something or make something good or, you know, I don't know. Have a good night, good day. I'm going to go watch some old Stargate. Bye-bye.